Hello, my name's Ewan and I'm an astronomy addict. In fact, only an astronomy addict would do a review of a 12 volt hairdryer. This was purchased by my wife for taking on holiday. It's a standard 12 volt car plug with a little hairdryer that is pretty useless. In fact, even though I don't have much hair, well, a bit of a beard, but I don't have much hair, this is pretty useless for drying even my hair. What it is good for is getting rid of dew. Now, I'm just going to plug it back in. I had a problem over the winter with my secondary or my Newtonian getting quite dewy quite quickly uh, on the sort of damper of night, dampers of nights. This was something that I quite quickly stole off my wife. It's got two settings. It's got one that is just blow air, which blows air at a, a acceptable rate, and then a second setting which is heat and blow air. I tend to use the just blow air setting because when you're getting rid of dew, just a very small build-up of dew, all you really need to do is get the air moving over the top of your secondary mirror. So I plug it in to my very, very lovely power supply just down here somewhere. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. And it does the job. bit noisy but if you don't have a dew heater then this is your solution you can pick these up from pretty much anywhere uh, they are in camping shops you can get them off eBay you can normally buy them from uh, astronomy shops as well uh, they don't call them hair dryers they they call them dew controllers uh, but essentially that's what they are uh, I'm sure I've seen it on 365 Astronomy's website, and I'm pretty sure I've also seen it on F1 telescopes, various different sites. But yeah, it it folds up, the wire wraps around it, it doesn't take up much space, and I can pull it out, and in the middle of the night, who's going to see you with a hairdryer in your hand? Unless you happen to be out with a group, in which case you'll probably find that someone has got a dew problem and would quite happily borrow your little hairdryer off you. A worthwhile investment, only about 10 to 15 pounds, depending on the quality of the one that you got. This one, as you can tell, was cheap, but it does the job. Thanks very much. I'll see you next time. Hopefully without something stupid in my hand.